Hello everyone, today I'm showing my Pioneer Lighting SM124 Fluorescent Strip Light. Now, I found this at the ReStore for $5, and it is a very nice fixture, and it's quite old. It runs a T12 20 watt bulb. As you can see, it's made by Philips, and on that date code down there, you can see it's made in 2001. It's in an uh, early style of Alto. Um, so Alto is like the newer generation of Philips lamps. They put that on everything. Before, it was just normal sort of design, but you can see that by the green end caps here, you can see that it's an Alto light bulb. So anyway, um, we can see it is a very nice fixture. It is kind of used, you can see here. One of the holes is already punched out along with the other one. But it still works very good. So anyway, let's get a look at the bulb here. Just take out the fixture. Here's the etch on the bulb. We can see it is cool white, if I can get a good focus. There we go. F20 T12, cool white, 20 watt. In K1 may, means made in um, 2001. You can also see the Philips logo. And we have the very nice end cap. So anyway, here's the um, fixture itself. We um, just turn it around here. We can see the label here, Pioneer Lighting, model SM124, type TS. Not sure what really that means. One 20 watt bulb, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 0 0.5 amps, and um, power factor correction, nothing. And that's a code, I'm not sure what that is. You see, gas tube luminaire, dry location only, and made in Canada. So anyway, we can um, see one screw that holds in the um, entire front panel. So let's just um, remove this screw here. And what's actually kind of funny about this fixture is this screw is literally a wood screw to hold in the whole thing. So I'm not sure if that actually this is original to the fixture, but you can see that's something you would see to actually go into a piece of wood, not to actually um, bolt something in. Anyway, let's um, take this off and we can see the ballast inside. It's made by Osram Sylvania and it's a Lumicon ballast. We can see in here. Uh, Lumicon distributed by Osram Sylvania. Um, we can get a zoom in on this chart over here. Yeah, that's too big. There we go. So we can see that it can take 20, 15, or 14 watt bulbs. Um, the 20 watt bulb has to be a T12 apparently, but a 15 watt can be um, either T12 or T8. Um, you can see all this tar has leaked out, unfortunately, but it still still seems to run qu quite quiet. You can see sound rated A. You can run it outside if you want. Um, rapid start ballast. And what's kind of funny is it says fluorescent preheat start lamp in a rapid start circuit. So it must be some sort of um, early kind of preheat ballast or something. You can kind of see over here it says ground ballast. Um, can't see much else because all that tar is leaked out. And that's pretty much it for the ballast. You can see all the um, wiring connections over here. Let's just zoom out. There we go. So you can see um, wiring connections that are in perfectly good condition. Except, um, of course, the socket holders have to be really finicky. Look at this. They can move up and down. I'm not sure what that's for, but anyway, once the plate's on it, it seems to lock in place. So anyway, let's um, close up this fixture and power it up. So there we go, put the fixture back together, and something I noticed being a wood screw holding this in is that it makes it really, really loose on the front plate, which is kind of a disadvantage. I'm um, probably going to replace that with a proper bolt soon. But um, it works fine for now. It does indeed hold in the plate. So anyway, let's um, install the bulb here. It installs very easily if you line it up correctly. There we go. Shut this light off and power it up. Here we go. So you can kind of see it flickered a bit before it turned on. That's probably an early type of rapid start, but it is providing a very nice um, white glow to all these boxes, as you can see. If we go up here, it's bringing out the colors very, very nicely. You can kind of see um, all the colors in the boxes up there. And of course, not much color down here because they're all cardboard, but it's still giving a very nice um, glow to all these boxes. Again, here's a look at all of them. The bulb is um, nearly unused. You can, um, I'm probably sure this bulb is original to the fixture, but it's working very, very nicely, and there's barely any um, noise coming out of this ballast. Here's just um, it lighting up a screwdriver. You can see it renders colors very, very nicely. And of course, it is very, very quiet. 
So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of my Pioneer Lighting 20 Watt Fluorescent Lamp Fixture. Thanks for watching.